How does functional MRI work? You might have heard of functional MRI, or you might even have had a functional MRI scan yourself. The goal of this video is to explain how it works. Functional MRI is a type of magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI. MRI uses a very big magnet inside a scanner to make images of the human body. The human body is made of more than 50% water. Each water molecule in the body contains two hydrogen atoms. These hydrogen atoms contain something called a proton. Protons have magnetic properties. When a magnet is present, they interact with the magnetic field. MRI scanners use magnets to measure a signal from protons in the body. MRI is used to make lots of different types of images. Hospitals most commonly use structural MRI. This can show the structure of the brain. Functional MRI shows which areas of the brain are active while performing a specific task. So, what do we measure with functional MRI? Let's look at what happens in the brain when we perform a simple task like looking at something. From the nerve in the eye, signals are sent to a region at the back of the brain called the visual cortex, where brain cells process these signals. Brain cells need oxygen to function. This is transported through the body by red blood cells in the blood. Here, we can see a blood vessel close to a brain cell in the visual cortex. The brain cell is not very active at the moment. When the eye starts looking at something, the brain cell needs to process the information coming from the eye. This means the brain cell needs to work very hard, and so it needs a lot of oxygen, just as you need more oxygen when you're running. The brain cells in the visual cortex demand more oxygen, and the nearby blood vessels increase the amount travelling to that part of the brain. Even more is delivered than the neuron requires. Blood has magnetic properties. These properties change depending on how much oxygen it contains. When there's a change in the oxygen level, the magnetic field around the blood vessel changes slightly. This affects the protons close to the blood vessel in a way that we can measure with the MRI scanner. When there are fewer red blood cells carrying oxygen, the signal we detect with the MRI scanner is lower. When there are a lot of red blood cells carrying oxygen, the signal detected by the MRI scanner is higher. In functional MRI, lots of images of the brain are taken very quickly. The images are then processed on a computer. This creates a map showing how brain activity changes when the brain is doing different things. In the example we just described, we would see a change in signal shown as a coloured blob in the back of the brain, where the visual cortex is. This tells us that this area has been working hard and using lots of oxygen. So, to summarise, how does functional MRI work? As shown in the video, functional MRI is a neuroimaging technique used to show brain activity. It works by detecting changes in the oxygen levels of the blood in the brain. The Wellcome Centre for Human Neuroimaging is a world leader in fMRI techniques. Our neuroscience research teams specialise in using fMRI to study human brain function in the areas of action, decision making, emotion, hearing, language, memory, self-awareness, navigation, seeing and social behaviour. Thank you for listening.